can crack jokes and whatnot about stuff, but this is this is how you keep your money going after you leave the, any uh, sports franchise, especially if you were uh, very successful. Zero cartridge waste, big guy crushing it. It's the diesel. I'm at this office depot. I found that my dumb butt was on the wrong end of the parking lot. Now, you got a brother running the register. He's pretty cool. You got a sister that's the print manager over the print thing. The computer guy's gone. There's no body on the floor. It's two people running this entire store. I went up and asked the brother to uh, look to see if they could, uh, if he could check uh, local stock because the uh, the uh, all-in-one that I was looking for, they don't have it in uh, in stock. He said, and I said, and it's in none of the stores. But he said, and then I even had him check this one, even though I would rather have uh, that one. But he, I, I tend to use brother machines. But I'm gonna wind up having to switch Brent because I'm I'm in a pinch. I'm in a bind right now. And in the line of business I'm in, you gotta have a you use fax machine every day. Every day you use fax machine. But because everywhere I know people just email, dude. When you doing stuff, impounds, all kind of other stuff like that, you're going, you gotta. You, you got to have paperwork with a signature on it. These two. I'm going to stack. I guess I'll squeeze one down there and set the other on top. But at least they got two because I need two. So that's this. But I'll take, I'm going to take those two. Even though I'm not an Epson fan, I've always used Brother. But they got two of them. And I can change the cartridges. You know, I got uh, at one yard, I got. A brother inkjet and a laser jet the inkjet one though is the all-in-one with the fax the laser jet I just use it for a printer cuz that's all it is and it prints very fast plus it's a laser jet but y'all know me since we let me give y'all some Lenovo they said man they're just out of everything the electronic shit the chip shortage I'm telling y'all let's see what's in here Lenovo, uh, I'm not an um, i3 processor, huh? It's cheaper, than, it's actually a little cheaper than I thought. I don't know if that's normal or not, because when the last laptop I bought was almost $1,500, but you know, I got two NVMe drives and and um, I bought the memory because uh, they, they was trying to stroke you on the memory. And so I got the... Uh, memory uh myself and uh windows 11 hard pass for me acer 32 inch 259 dollars Ooh, eh? this is this is a smaller because uh well it's a different model number but um i have two uh 32 inch lgs that's what i Hey, look at that guy. He's tall, but he's handsome. <laughs> and, um, but mine is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the 4K. Mine are, mine are the 4K ones. And it was not much more than that. I mean, spend, shoot, spend the extra 30 bucks and get the 4K. Shit. I mean, shoot. But, uh, there's no, there's no workers here. He said they can't get any. They, he said they always, they, they, uh, people, they don't even show up. I'm telling you. People can talk all the stuff they want. I remember, like I say, I, I met Shaq at a, at a party when he was um, in, in San Antonio, because, you know, he lived there and we still lived there then. You know, but he wasn't 
the shack we know now. And of course, he, you know, it was a, you know, about 40, 50 people there it was a pool party and whatnot. And my cousin, hey man, Shaq gonna be there. And he said, we can come. Okay. And he was there. Sure. And that was like, Jesus guy's big. But this is when he was uh, uh, getting ready uh, to leave LSU. Well, he'd already, I think he'd already been picked, but he hadn't um, something. And he was DJing on the one and the two. That was a trip. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, this is, <sighs> I mean, like I say, man, chip shortage. Block, uh, uh, stuff sitting in the, uh, sitting in the, um, whatchamacallits out here in shipping containers out here in the, in, uh, the port of, uh, the port of Long Beach, port of Los Angeles, port of Houston, you know, just sitting out there. COVID restrictions, COVID restrictions. Why is my hat crooked? Matco tools. Hell, I, I know I didn't put somebody's kid through college at freaking Matco. I know I have. <laughs> and they got some clearance ones, but they ain't the open box stuff, but it ain't nothing that I can use. Ain't nothing I can use. Man, you been and missed. You been and missed the deal. You've been and missed a deal with us over a freaking, over a fax machine. Hold on a second. I may as well grab some ink cartridges while I'm here, even though I know it's cheaper to get them online. But it'll be my luck. I've been and took these without and then get back to the office and get some online from my normal ink source. And they'll tell me they ain't got none. So it ain't worth the risk. It ain't worth the risk to me, so, but I'll get that, but I just want to finish this out before I go, but man, everybody think businesses run themselves, they don't, and when you're a small guy like me, where you don't have a fully staffed office because there's not enough, not enough money and work to go around for that, the money is on the road, not so much in the office, and but I still have people, like I say, every now and then, because everybody around me, they know I got a fax machine. So I done like Carrie start, uh, Carrie told me to do, because I was just, if it was people I was just messing with, I just, man, give it here. But a lot of the stuff faxing is long distance. So I just started, uh, um, I, I charge, uh, I think I charge him $3. I think I charge, uh, I think it's, I think it's $3 if it's, if it's uh, within the region and five dollars if it's long distance and that'll g I'll give you up to three sheets every sheet after that is a dollar a sheet and to me i think that's a smoking deal i may go a week without doing without doing nothing and then the damn next week everybody and they mom on me for some shit. but that's the way this business is y'all my, my office assistant don't look like that well, if she did, I'm quite sure, and, and, and I'm joking, I wouldn't want an office assistant to look like that, because I ain't getting me too. <laughs> nope, ain't happening. Yeah, I'm being petty. I'm taking one that's already put together. <laughs> hey. It's already put together. It's the only it adds $15 to it, so I'll take it. Well, shoot, it's nice and quiet now, though. <laughs> no mail. And don't listen to them talking heads that's telling you that the world is gone digital, so there's no, there's no room for a brick-and-mortar print store. That line... Because since people won't buy stuff anymore, especially if they small business would don't, I see it the other way around. I'm like, man, you can't afford not to have your own printer, man. I don't care what line of business you in. But anyway, that line that that young lady uh, was, was, was hacking, the manager, for to go to the, the print and services, print, fax, and copy services thing, is out of this freaking world. 
Don't listen to these talking heads that's trying to tell you something different. If the ones that's telling you something different than uh, telling you that you don't see what you see or telling, uh, trying to tell me that I didn't see what I see. And when I said, oh, you know, well, hopefully you get a break. She said, it won't last for long. That ain't trying to tell, that's trying to tell you that you don't see what you're seeing. They have an ulterior motive and their mo their ul ulterior motive isn't going to benefit you in no way, shape, or form. I'm driving by this huge server farm, rack space. I think I've done a map thing on it. I think I've done a video on it. I'm driving right next to it now. I'm at Walsham Road and Interstate 35. Uh, my YouTube partner in crime, uh, Irv, C, uh, uh, Irv C1, used to live straight back that way. Hell, I did too for a little while before I moved further over. But anyway, y'all, happy Friday. I'm going to try to go live. I don't know. If it keep quiet, we do a general thing, see what's happening. Uh, I, w I need to try to go live at least once or twice a week for regardless of whatever it is. Got to meet my contractual uh, the, uh, demands from freaking Sly to get me in truth out of this 2042 contract. Y'all be good. Bye.